you are somebody that feels compelled enough to write a nasty email or a nasty um, comment and give me a thumbs down because of this, I think you really need to look at yourself and go, okay, why is it that you feel that way? Why is it that you, that where's the root cause of it? And what part of that root cause of the frustration did you create yourself? Because you're not gonna be able to move beyond it and you're not gonna be able to have a functioning career if you can't like transmute that energy and understand it and then position yourself differently moving forward. It's almost like you, if you react that way, it's because you were wounded, you know? You, you had a wound somewhere that you have not healed or not worked your way through the energy of it and I think it's really important to do that because you're just gonna go into your next opportunity and you're gonna be jaded and you're gonna be um, kind of uh, very skeptical and it's gonna show and you kind of, uh, I feel, I believe that you attract that kind of energy to you. If you put, whatever you put out into the universe comes back to you. It's, it's okay to feel that way and feel angry and feel upset when something happens, but then also it's, you should apply the learning to it. You know, sit back, go, okay, where did I contribute to this situation and be very honest with yourself and then apply learning. Let's talk about the human resource function. Most people seem to forget that at its core, the human resources function is still part of a, it's a business department. It wasn't set up originally to be a department for people, right? Even though the name human, and I hate the term human resources, so I, I don't like that term. Um, I did not make it up and nobody seems to listen to me <laughs> when I, when I suggest we should change the name. So some companies actually do call it other things, which I, I, I can appreciate, but I don't like the term human resources. At the very core level, at the very top level, human resources is a very strategic business partner to the most senior levels of leadership. So it's kind of like the right-hand man uh, or woman, I guess you can say, uh, for the very top leadership. And usually at the very highest levels, the HR department or the HR function is very closely aligned to the business strategy. And so there's usually a CHRO or somebody that is sits directly on the executive council that is very closely aligned. And it doesn't matter the size of the company. Every company that I've ever worked at, the human resources person has a lot of closed doors meetings with the presidents, with the CEOs, with the executive team, and is really kind of behind the scenes getting into a lot of that strategy. HR's primary purpose though is is not people, and I, and some HR people will probably just say no, that you you don't know what you're talking about. But but if you hear me out, HR's primary purpose is to mitigate risk, to implement risk avoidance, and then compliance. That's the primary directive. So it's to mitigate risk, to um, to ensure risk avoidance, and then to uh, make sure that you comply. And that's with legalese, like the legal, uh, so you keep the company out of hot water legally. And that's the ultimate driving mission of all HR departments. The next tier down, I would say that's the first guiding light, the next tier down would then be strategic alignment to business decisions. So if the business wants to go in a certain direction, the HR department then is, its purpose is to align the talent and with the overall business strategy. So they're looking at their organizations and then making sure they've got the right people in place to get to where the executive team wants to go. And that's in a lot of cases where people experience layoffs, they experience adverse employment decisions. If you are not part of the strategic direction of where the company is going, you're gonna get that letter, that pink slip, that's going to say, thanks for your time, but we've reorganized and you're no longer a good fit for this organization.